I walked through my hometown of Vernon with historian Gabriel Newman and looked at the many murals of upstanding icons. Then we hit upon Vernon's scruffier past. So I'd like to introduce you to Captain Shorts. Who was Captain Shorts? He was everything. He was like a miner. He was a logger. He sold self-threading needles, just anything to make a buck. And then he realized, you know what? There's this new town called Penticton. I bet I could make some money by transporting stuff back and forth. Things like wheelbarrows and shovels, also booze and food, things that miners need to stay alive. Booze, booze and food. Yeah, yes, like that's exactly. pretty much the staples. And that's how he went from being, you know, guy trying to make a buck to Captain Shorts. So he started with a rowboat. Yeah, and he bragged that he could row all day without getting tired, and he's carrying this, like, two tons of freight and passengers, and, yeah, they said he had quite the arms on him. Amazing. <laughs> he does kind of look like Popeye. Yeah. Yeah. He was rough around the edges. He always had, like, snuff and chewing tobacco in his beard. He had a bad temper. He swore. He, he, he wasn't a captain. He had no training in this, right? He would just, like, paddle, and if the weather's bad, he'd pull over, and he'd, like, sleep on the beach, and he'd wait until it was better. Like, that was his whole approach. One trip, somebody had said, will you make the head of the lake tonight, Captain? He goes, oh, yeah, no problem. And the first day, there was a storm came up. And the second day, he got loaded. And the passengers had to save themselves and get the boat into the beach. And it took eight days to get up to Vernon that time. Eight days? Yeah. He's the uncle, you know, in Vernon history, that everything he says and does, you have to take with a small grain of salt, right? Like, he's the one who's credited with finding the bone of Ogopogo. Well, he claims he found it on one of the beaches of Lake Okanagan. What? Yeah. <laughs> And so we have that at the museum still, right? No way. Yeah, yeah, we do. Amazing. <laughs> they even had shipped off to Vancouver, and it was confirmed by anthropologists to have come from the vertebrae of a whale. Despite the tall tales, prickly attitude, and ramshackle approach to business, he was making pretty good money as the only ferry in town. So it was time to upgrade his boat. Somebody he rode down the lake said, why don't you get a steam engine, you know? like. So he thought, I'll try that. So he got a steam engine in 1886. And for his first trip, he tried to haul five tons of freight in a scow behind him and five passengers. And he ran out of coal oil halfway down the lake, and he was bumming coal oil off people in cabins and leaving dark cabins, it said, as he went down the lake. And they gave him a 21 shotgun salute when he finally made it in <laughs> Really? Actually? Yeah. Wow. That boat later burnt down and another sunk. But he kept using the engine in boat after boat. Now it's in the Vernon Museum. Yeah, that was me. And if you want to see it work, we can do that. Shut up. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Just start by pulling that lever there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Always that's, blow the whistle before you leave that's in the steamboat. That's a funny gag, all right. <laughs> so I can just press? Yeah. Wow. 1886, and it still works really well. And he just sort of kept on reusing that engine until he kept getting larger and larger boats and had a great big crew, and was eventually, because of his attitude, you know, his customer service was somewhat lacking. He kind of drove himself out of business. What did he do after that? So after that, well, he went back to what he, was, what he loved, right, which was prospecting. He eventually moved to Hope. And they noticed one day that he wasn't in his usual haunt, so they went to check on him, and he was on the floor dead, and his corn cob pipe that he was known for having was empty, and there was a few crumbs of bread on the table, and the headline was, Captain Shorts has made his last move. Oh, no. <laughs>